Why? The reason is crucial. An axiomatic truth about our economy deserving of its own extended analysis, but for our purposes today, can be expressed in three simple facts that comprise an unforgiving syllogism. First, the amount of debt in a country, private plus public debt, essentially always increases faster than GDP itself for the very straightforward reason that it takes debt to grow. Debt growth essentially always exceeds GDP growth. This uncomfortable fact is readily accessible and easy for you to check. Second, the more debt a country has, especially private debt, the higher asset prices go, especially stocks and real estate, which are by far the predominant assets in any country. Uh, some find this surprising, but the reason is that more debt results in more money, and more money means more demand for those two assets. The more demand there is, the higher prices go, obviously. This up upward path in these asset prices has its ups and downs, obviously, as stock market corrections and real estate corrections occur periodically. But over time, the trend is clear. Again, this assertion is easy to check. And third, it is the top 10% who are the holders of most of these real estate and stock assets that are the principal beneficiaries of this equation. More debt brings higher asset values, and since the top 10% own 65% of all these assets, they are the ones who benefit most from this. The bottom 50% of the country hold only 6% of real estate and stock assets so will benefit very little from this equation. There is no income boost of any amount that is sufficient even over time to close this gap. It could be altered by a radical change in tax policy, but only at a magnitude that is not feasible politically. The bottom line is wealth inequality will continue to increase, not just in the United States, but globally. That's it for this week.